Hello everyone. Welcome to Software Testing Zone. Today we are going to discuss about client and manager round questions. And this is the list of questions which I have prepared, which are mostly asked into client and manager round. So we will look into it one by one. So we are having questions like what will you do if there is a bug in production or what are the challenges you have faced, right? Then uh, tell me about a time when you help your colleague when he was struggling or two scenarios where you were stuck and how did you solve it like that so we will go one by one and i'll answer each and every question which will be really uh, helpful for you when you will face the interviews okay so do watch it till the end and you will get a good input today so let's start with the first question what will you do if there is a production bug okay so basic thing is it is not a good scenario for us if we find a bug in production. But as we can make mistakes and uh, there could be a defect leakage because of which there will be a defect in production. So what we can do. So first thing we what we have to do is we have to take everyone in confidence and we have to inform our stakeholders. Okay, our stakeholders are developer, PA, product owner or product manager. These are the people which we need to inform. Second thing which we can do is we need to create a Jira ticket. Okay, we have to open a ticket in Jira for that particular defect. Third point we can do RCA, which is also known as root cause analysis. Now, what is meant by root cause analysis is we keep on asking question to ourselves. Five times we ask why. So why this bug has found or why this bug got leaked to production phase. Okay and we will reach to the root cause of that particular defect. We can also check our earlier documentation, like what are the related stories we have worked on, or are there any similar defects which were raised earlier, okay? So on, from those tickets, we will get information about that what got tested and how did we miss that particular defect. Once we get the root cause of that particular defect, we need to immediately start with the fix of that particular defect. You can take help of developers and uh, with minimum amount of time, we need to fix that particular defect. At the same time, we also need to do impact analysis. What is meant by impact analysis is because of that particular defect in production, how many sub capabilities or how many modules are getting affected? If there are less number of modules which are getting affected, then your client will not be bothered about it. But if it's affecting your main modules, main sub capabilities, in that case, this is a really a serious issue. So these are some of the steps which we can follow when we have found bug in production. Second question is, what type of challenges you have faced in your career working as a tester? So it all depends on your experience, what are all the skill set you have worked on or what are the type of projects you have worked on. But like uh, if a person is initially working on manual and now he's switched to automation because of the product, uh, project requirement, in that case for him, it will be really hard or it will be challenging for him to understand the frame, framework, right? Automation framework, it could be hybrid framework or maybe data driven framework or BDD framework. So this could be a very challenging job or maybe you are working in automation and you have to do database automation now. So, you know, implementing JDBC connections could be a tricky part. So this type of examples you can give based on your experience for this question that what type of challenges you have faced in your career. Third question is tell me about the time when you help your colleague. Okay, so this happens when you are working in a team, we have to work together, we have to help each other to get that particular work done. To answer this question, you can give examples like when there is a new joinee in our team, so I help him understand the framework I have given KT to him. Or you can give examples like, let us say your colleague was stuck to resolve particular defect or in retesting that particular defect, he has very less time. In that case, you helped him to uh, retest that particular defect. This type of examples you can give for this question. Next question we are having is, tell me two scenarios where you were stuck and how did you solve it? So this again depends on your experience basically. 
uh, what work you have done, what type of stories you have worked, what defect you have solved like that. Uh, for example, you can mention here about the production bug, like the bug was leaked in the production uh, and it, it, it belongs to you. Then how did you manage that situation? How did you communicate with the client? How did you take him in a confidence? How did you explain him, justify him that this bug was missed from our end? So you can tell like what are all the documents you showed him or what are all the evidences you showed him to, you know, uh, he would believe you that it was a mistake and how did you uh, make him believe that you won't do it further in future. Okay, so this type of scenarios you need to talk about uh, that where you were stuck and how did you solve it. This shows your problem solving skills, which is very much important, like you are under pressure we have a delivery and you have to deliver that particular module if you have to conclude your testing then how did you manage it how did you do the monkey testing how did you prioritize your test cases your testing like that this type of examples you can give for this question then there is another question and which, which is very important that how could you miss the deadline or if you miss the deadline how will you handle it so this is very common scenario because you know uh, while working we commit some deadline for that particular task and because of some reasons we were not able to complete our testing within that period of time so there could be multiple reasons i have pointed out some of the reasons like the build was not ready or you received the build late because of which uh, you didn't have much time to complete the testing or there is a large set of test cases which you need to test it but because of less time you were not able to do it or while testing you found multiple bugs on the same way because of which it was not possible for you to complete the testing within the committed time period or within the committed deadline this way we can explain this question next question we are having is how will you handle a situation if there is a difference of opinion with your senior like your senior is not agree with you that uh, sometimes we test our stories and we conclude our testing but then your uh, product owner your ba will tell you that no you have not tested this part or you have not tested this part so how will you handle this situation okay so sometimes your lead is not agree with you or your ba is not agree with you sometimes developers are not agree with you whenever you raise a defect so what you can do is the strongest point with you is your documentation that how properly you have documented everything and how logical your explanation is based on these two points you can win the war okay talk about your findings talk about your evidences talk about the documentation you have prepared and try to try to convince them that whatever you are saying or whatever your findings are logical okay this way we can convince our seniors uh, about that particular situation but we should not argue with our seniors never we should not argue with our seniors we can just try to convince them and if your documentation is proper then they will convince also next question is how will you start a testing if the requirements are not clear so this is a very common problem when you are working in agile methodology where your requirement keeps on changing okay so what we can do if the requirements are not fixed or there is a situation like you have joined a team newly uh, where they were working on a project where, uh, and uh, there is a requirement change so how will you handle it okay so what you can do is you can talk with the people who are earlier working on that project or what they have done do we have any type of documentation which is not directly related to the project or your functional requirements but indirectly related to it do we have any any reference to follow like that you can ask you can check for old documents for that product and you can talk to as many people as you can you can talk to ba if possible you can talk to developers you can talk to your lead you can talk to other testers also and try to get as much information as you can based on which you can like design your own scenarios you can write your test cases and you can begin with the testing next question is 
what will you do if developer is not accepting the bug so whenever we are working this this happens because developers are working in their local environment they are doing unit testing in their local environment now when the same code is deployed to qa environment there is a chances of breaking of that particular code because of which the code is not working in qa but it was working in dev in such scenarios there is a possibility that developer is not accepting your bug saying that it is working perfectly fine in his environment okay now what you can do is you can connect with the developer and try to explain him that the thing is not working in qa first thing if he is not agree with you or he is saying that he can't do anything with you uh, anything about that then you can address the same issue in your scrum call where when there is a scrum master there is a ba there is a developer you can explain to him and you can ask a scrum master only that what can we do now okay so this way you can also address this in defect triage call okay we are having a dedicated call for defects so you can address the same issue in defect triage call and you will get the solution <clears throat> next question which we are having is if we give you only manual work will you join or why do you want to switch from automation to manual so this happens when you are looking out for a job and the position is for manual tester now the client wants to know that why are you interested in manual because there is a possibility that you will get a offer and you will again search for another job right so client will try to ask you or try to know you or uh, your your uh, thinking that why do you want to switch to manual now what you can say is that manual testing helps us understand functional requirement thoroughly right there is a proper documentation and you are actually using that particular application you are testing it manually so it gives you sense of understanding a better perspective to test that particular functionality so you can say the same that manual testing gives us a proper understanding of the functional requirement which is necessary to implement automation though for now the role is for manual tester in future if required i can do automation as well this way you can handle this question now next question we are having is do we have do you have any questions for us this is the last question a client or a manager will ask you never say no i don't have any questions you should say that uh, you should say that can you tell me about the project which is currently going on or the project for which you are hiring this the this is the best question you can ask to your client you can also ask about roles and responsibilities for for the person who is getting hired it could be you it could be anyone else but it's better to ask them about your roles and responsibilities if you get hired okay so these are top 10 questions which are uh, asked in client or manager level interviews and you need to answer this questions in this manner okay last but not the least uh, ending up a interview is very good uh, chance for you to have a impression you can simply say that uh, it was a great discussion nice talking to you and have a great time thank thank you for this opportunity by saying this you can end up your call okay so this way we can handle the client round and manager round with a positive approach you will definitely clear this round i will attach this file in the video uh, in the description so you can download it and you can refer this for your future interviews thank you very much do subscribe for more upcoming videos and more content thank you